Hello everyone, my name is Teriprism and welcome back to Stories The Path of Destinies. Like I said at the end of the last video, we are back where we were made that game ending decision and instead we are heading back to try to convince Zenobia to join us by telling her the truth plan. I know this one will end badly. Did you ever wonder why the Emperor adopted you? Had he told her why? His Imperial Majesty wanted to bring the lost gods back. They could make him immortal. But to seal the bargain, he needed a sacrifice. Someone who truly loved him. You're lying. She was furious. You can't prove that. I can. And so, they set sail for the Nexus. The scientists at the observatory have resurrected one of his victims. Well, he's not exactly alive. But it can talk, and it can't lie. You took a big risk. You know, I could just cast a spell to make you tell me where the rebel base is, and you wouldn't consider that cheating. Except that she in found... one storyline, you oh, see, did that. Fine. Let's go get your witness. The rebellion had started after atrocities that the Empire hushed up. Renato had rescued a priest whose order had been massacred for one book. He had slept in a burnt village. Dead kittens and puppies had come to tell him what the Emperor so, had done So, let's see if uh, that uh, observatory is uh, still uh, alive or has it been destroyed like last time. I'm guessing it is uh, destroyed. Swinging across once more. Hello, Ravens. Caught up with him. Don't you think I'd know if my father started practicing black magic? Why? Would you want to join in? Oh, no, no, I'd destroy his books and. Oh. All right, I suppose I wouldn't. Yeah, I like her last time. Troubled. He ran on. But I guess uh, we have to try that uh, Lapino's hairbrain uh, scheme once uh, again. Uh, on next uh, playthrough, since uh, apparently this isn't way to uncover uh, Lapino's secret. At least uh, he dropped uh, completely off uh, this day now. Bernardo had been searching for a way to save the rebellion. Lapino wanted to capture and interrogate Zenobia. But if he could show her proof of her father's madness, maybe she would join the rebellion. Don't look down, he told himself. Don't look down. Hold 
Siis suun piirte observatori. Yeah, it's burning. It dead the frogs. The observatory was a burning hulk. Dead scientists and black feathers everywhere. The ravens had taken care to burn the reanimated witness to cinders. Zenobia stared around, shocked. The scientists had been neutral. They had no part in the rebellion. Take me to your council, she said, mm. shaken. I have things to tell them. It was what Renardo had gambled on. The Zenobia would turn against her father once she knew his madness. But the rebel base was secret. Could he really I think uh, this time the we can risk it. There, even we might run into Lapino him. here again. He'd always trusted her before. Renardo's plan worked. Zenobia was now convinced her father was a mad and had to be stopped. Or was she? Did he really convince her, or was he playing him like a widow? He came this far, why hesitate now? He should take her to the secret base. Renata reached Lapino by Far Speaker Toad. The one creature the Ravens had left alive at the observatory. I'll meet up with you at the base, Lapino said through the Toad. Good thinking. Renata gave him the coordinates. There's a shuttle here I can uh, borrow. Renato found Zenobia in the chart room. I've been having awful dreams, she said. Dead kittens and oh, worse. Mm. I thought they were only dreams, you know. Why would anyone want the lost gods back? Of course. In those days, the favorite of a god could become immortal. She held herself and shivered. He wants to become an eater of souls. Well, I'm not afraid of dying. Just tired of boredom. <laughs> Renato said, but she didn't laugh. Silence fell as they flew towards the ruins of the city of Ubar, where the rebellion leadership was hiding. If Zenobia couldn't help them At fight least, her uh, father, based on no the could. narrators uh, so far, telling her, uh, I think uh, Zenobia there was a. Um, most uh, sincere to far. At least that's how I feel. As they touched the ground, he could smell the ravens and hear their hungry calls in the distance. They're probably looking for me, she said. Mm. You go on ahead. She had that fiery look in her eyes that he'd always loved. It was a bit odd, though, how easy she'd been to convince. It was what he'd gambled on, but he'd expected more of an argument. She'd always loved to argue. She considered it the fastest way to the truth. Maybe she'd long suspected the truth. Maybe. Sometimes all it took was taking though, the bandages from I have from to admit, eyes. and now that uh, you that must told be it, me told that, himself. it uh, feels a little bit suspicious. Out of the way. Oh, I thought I had one of those tasks left. Ah, uh, Hypatia. Oh, she'd been an amazing rabbit. She could talk to him about comics and talk <laughs> to her son about history and battles and talk to scholars about the ancient tomes hidden deep in the vaults of the library of Ubar. I kind of uh, wonder oh, what she looked really like. Her. We never saw that. Oh, you know you're dumb. Easily dealt with. If 
Zenobia had really turned, the war could soon be over. She could send orders to the fleet that would leave their defenses wide open. The rebels could sail right in. Maybe. And capture the Emperor. Victory. But I doubt the, it will be this that easy since we already we are still missing one of those. Uh, They caught their breath under a ruined arch. It's beautiful, she said. This was the library of Ubar, he said. Your father's ravens thought they had an ancient book. She nodded. Was she crying? This was exactly what I wanted, Renata thought. To turn her to our cause. So, why do I yeah, feel something is terribly wrong? Get the bit because nothing ever goes now. this smoothly, is why. She will betray us and... Yeah, at least I get that uh, kind of feeling from here. Zipper probably has uh, told uh, those ravens to follow her. The long stairs. So he was close to the rebel base. Nothing was on fire. But let's see so far, so good. where this actually leads. Nothing. Get your blood pumping like a bit of killing. Will we be betrayed by both Zenobia and Lapino, or just Zenobia, or just La Lapino? Well, we're about to see. I still hope uh, that Lapino doesn't turn out to be be betrayer. The Council Toads swarmed around Zenobia, shocked she was there, shocked she had changed sides. Then, the walls exploded. He heard toads croaking, Oh, the ravens! Blackbirds were pouring through holes everywhere. It's a trap! Cried the council speaker. In the confusion, he saw flashes of magic. Then Zenobia being hustled off by Imperial troops. So, she had betrayed him after all. Renato ran for his ship. Oopsie! The Farfarer flew into the clouds, barely losing the Imperial Ravens pursuing him. The rebellion was lost. And he had lost it. There was nothing to do but find Zenobia and make her pay for her treachery. Oh, his heart ached. He still loved her. But he had trusted her and he had been a fool. She would be back at the fleet. Gloating with her mad, bloodthirsty father. For all no, Renato I don't think knew, uh, that's what uh, actually bring back happening the old here. Lost gods back from their exile. But we will, we shall see. Renato landed in the middle of the Imperial fleet. The rebels were losing badly. Without leadership, it was a slaughter. Renato felt strangely free, trying not to think about how he had lost the war, trying not to think about how he had loved Zenobia, blinded himself to her treachery. That's what it meant to be a hero, to keep on fighting after the most bitter of betrayals, to never know if you could trust anyone yeah, Reynardo's turning a Peter fur. here because of that. Is there something here? There it was again. 
We've been here before, but I don't remember if I checked the uh, those areas or not. Nothing there, it doesn't seem like. Time to jump on board. And then... Here's come. Here comes next ship. And over there too. What had happened to Lepino? Had the mad rabbit fled to safety? Or was he for maybe carrying or maybe if you he was the one here or there? Don't be oh, it didn't matter anymore. All there was was slash and spin, parry and lunge, over and over as he fought his way across the fleet. All there was was finding the girl he'd once found, who'd used his love against him and putting a bigger hole in her heart as she'd left in his. There was an inscription, no spit. I really wonder what's uh, keeping these ships uh, in the air. Because I can't really see some kind of system that does that. It's probably done with those uh, crystals we see on those platforms, but uh, I can't be sure. The sails, of course, will uh, help uh, maneuver uh, them, but, uh, but it's uh, actually keeping them afloat. Well, time to head out uh, and confront Xenopia. Last one. Well, let's see if we this time got anything new. I doubt we got anything new, especially new, but we will see. And suddenly, Zenobia was there, advancing a Lapino. So the mad rabbit had survived. Save me, or I'm done for! Screamed Lapino. Zenobia turned, showing her teeth in a smile. You're alive! Renardo ran towards the witch. Lupino's the one who betrayed you! She shouted. He warned my father! Renardo sank his sword into the witch before she could fool him again. She, she stared at him. Heart broken. No! Lupino's the traitor! Then he felt a knife in his back. I'm afraid she's right! To the mad rabbit. Ain't I a stinker? Then, the sun went out. He should go back to some of the choices he'd faced before. Maybe there were new paths that had opened up. Like those doors he was opening up all over the map that took him to new treasures and around his enemies. But he'd learned another true thing. Lapino was a traitor. Renato had suspected there was something wrong with the mad rabbit. But now he knew there was yeah. a behind his goodness. New story completed. Story 4. The Endless Moment. What kind of hero are you? A hero who keeps on fighting even after the most bitter of betrayals. New truth revealed. Lapino is a traitor. Reward plus two levels. We found all the truths now. Now we just need to 
work out uh, the way to use them to reach relamping, I'm guessing. So, that will be on next episodes. I will see you then. Goodbye!